What's up everybody, it's True Flocka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we're going to be showing you the best defensive plays in the yard. I did have an old defensive plays, that was actually my best video on the channel. I want to do this again because I feel like it is different now. There are different plays, everybody's running the same play and I kind of know how to stop it. Although you can't do a defensive adjustments in this mode, there are still ways to play very well with your player or with any other player in squads too it's very fluke in squads but in 1v1s or 2v2s or 3v3s you could still get away with running these plays and you'll have way more success than running any other play let's get right into the plays all right so the first play we're going to be doing is the safe zone blitz this is one that i love doing i usually will play this player right here i just love to bait underneath because there's so much you could do underneath you could bait this very easily just like that you just have to like fake step and people will think you're coming at them. But instead of actually going at them, you fake step at the quarterback, come back, and it's almost a pick every time. Even on crossfire, you can bait the two crossers and they'll throw it right to you. I get so many pick sixes because people don't know how to play the crossfire correctly. All right, we already went over safe zone blitz and how it is broken. There are a lot of things you can do with it. You'll see a common thing here with on defense is I like to play underneath and let my guys do the top. You'll think you have to use your player, but you don't. The next one here is deep zone blitz. It's another cover three, but it is two yellow routes underneath instead. I like to use this. I don't like using the blitzer as much in this one. I'll just play underneath here. That one... I did draft Cole Komet for some reason. Obviously not the best pick. I don't know why I did that. I was not paying attention. But playing underneath, sometimes you don't have to use your player. But for for right here, I'll use my player. You could bait this heavily. There's so much to bait here. And there's almost... Everyone likes throwing underneath. They like getting their double passes. They like getting their little clown touchdowns where they throw everywhere. You know what I mean? Those extra plays. And here you could force it a lot. There's two players underneath helping you in the yellows. All... Oh, we are not going to get that there. I do have Enforcer on instead of Lurker. I do not know why. I have no clue why. If I had Lurker on, that's a pick. You guys should always have Lurker on. I just did not fix this build before this video. And I didn't think I was going to be using it. But there's so much you could do underneath. We're going to try to bait here. And it's, I think this is going to be a pick, but we do got to bounce. I'm telling you, there's so much you could do on this. You could fake Blitz. You don't even have to Blitz on them. I called the wrong play on accident. But I'm telling you, in the zone, you could literally play this. And people will literally panic. See, just like that. If that was a zone, it's the same thing, even if it wasn't man. There would have been no blitzers. We would have had everything clamped up. Let's do it again with the deep zone blitz. This is one of my favorite ones. This is this is something that I don't suggest using anywhere in the goal line. You can see here, he got six yards there. That's terrible in the yard per play. I think this play is the best by far. Although the first one I did get a pick six on. This one is my personal favorite. I have the most success with it. I don't like actual blitzing. Sometimes I do if like the quarterback's very bad under pressure, but I feel like this guy makes some really bad throws. Oh, I called the wrong uh, play there. We're gonna try to bait this here. I had no okay, so he was going to Kenny Galladay there. I think I would have had a pick there if I would have kept paying attention to it. I was gonna try to get that guy in the middle of the field, but I think zone is better. Unlike regs and ultimate team, the man is not as good, especially on the crossfire post route. Or just in general, the man can just get very glitched up. I think zone is just 10 times better. You should be using zone in the yard. Especially when you're playing with friends as well. You just gotta, you just can't play dumb in your zone as uh, as in the squads. Because some people like to get greedy for the ball. They'll come out of their zone and there'll be a wide open touchdown. It just happens too often. I don't know if that's just my friend group. But we still win games. It's just, it's just one or two plays. It happens to a lot of other people I've noticed as well. As we do get a goal line stop here, we're going to head into the next best play, which I use on goal line. All right, this one is very bad in the open field, which I am about to use. But in the end zone from like 20 yards in, it is so nice. You can get picks out of this right here. You could bait this underneath. You could try to like, people are bad under pressure. As you could tell here, we do get a huge loss there, 14 yards. This play is very risky. I love this in the goal line. No one ever scores in the goal line when I run this play. I am using the wrong guy here as he's going to get a huge play. I was using the wrong guy there. I was talking. 
But that see, as we can see it now in the goal line, this play in the goal line gets me so many turnovers because the two blitzers makes them panic. But let's head right into it as we wait for him to pick a play. This guy is taking a little bit with every snap. Kind of tough. But we can bait this here. Tree Cohen is kind of bad, especially against a Kenny Galladay matchup right here. He's going to be running some crosses. We do get the two blitzes. Even if he threw it back to his player, that was a pick by Tree Cohen. Hopefully, he is five foot something. But I think this play is just so good. There's so many turnovers to be made because of the pressure. If you have good users, you're, you'll be fine. Just fine. That obviously was a good throw. That was a good throw. I'm not even going to lie. But obviously in the yard, defense is not key. It's not key at all. This is just to show you what plays are the best out of the worst plays. You know what I mean? Like defense has some bad plays. Like these do not work consistently. There's no play that works consistently like there can be in regs. Like there is no ways to consistently beat. I mean, like there's no way to consistently defend an offense if they're running crossfire perfectly, if they're running hurricane perfectly, if they're running thunder perfectly. Like in my offensive best plays last video. I'm just saying, these are the three best plays that have worked for me. I let up 10 points there. Obviously not the best. But I'm telling you guys, these got, these plays have helped me win almost every game. I have actually lost two games in the last eight streams. I have streamed for over three hours each stream for eight streams. And we've lost two games. And one of them was against my friend who knows exactly what I do every play. So, although other than that, I've really lost one game. But I'm telling you guys, this defense helps so much. You just got to play underneath. Sometimes you just don't got to use your guy up top. Play underneath, force the turnovers, let your safety do their thing. You don't got to use them. It's just like a red game. You don't have to use your player. You don't. Just play the middle linebacker, the underneath routes, the halfback, the slot. You'll force so many turnovers. Just bait them. Have some great users. This will also develop your usage for other modes. This is why I really love, really, really love these plays. But anyways, this has been Chuflock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am trying to get out some more tips on how to succeed in the yard consistently. I I think that it's really hard to show all the things you could do within the yard. But we're trying to we're labbing. Me and my friends have been labbing. They've been helping me out a lot. I appreciate them for that. But anyways, this has been Chuflocka. Peace out. On to the next video.